we're covering 5-4, the triangle mid-segment theorem. Remember to take notes and complete the check it out problems. The learning target for today is I can prove and use properties of triangle mid-segments. So what is a mid-segment of a triangle? It's a segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of the triangle. So in this picture, we have QP and QR, and you can see X is the mid midpoint of QP and Y is the midpoint of QR. So this line XY joins those two midpoints and that's a mid-segment. Every triangle has three mid-segments which form the mid-segment triangle. So here is our other mid-segment. This is the mid-segment. Um, these are the midpoints of PR and QR. And then finally this is a mid-segment which joins the midpoints of QP and PR. So this leads us to our, mid, our triangle mid-segment theorem. And as Ms. Briscoe stated, that a mid-segment of a triangle is parallel, oh, I should state that, we're staged it now, parallel to a side of the triangle and its length is half the length of that side. So we have segment DE is our mid-segment, which is midway between on segment AB, so AB in half. We cut segment BC, which is two equal parts. So now, All right, so let's go over an example. Find each measure. So what do we see here? We have BD, which you can see that it, it is at the midpoint of AC, and D is at the midpoint of CE, and likewise, this is going to be a mid-segment, and this is a mid-segment. There's a mid-segment triangle. It, it's true. So we're, we want to find BD, the length of BD, which is this right here. And our mid-segment theorem says it's half as big as the side that it's parallel to, which is going to be AE. So that means that BD is going to be one half. Okay, so BD is going to be half as big as AE. Since AE is 17, BD is going to be half of that or 8.5. So that's our answer, BD is 8.5. Next question, find angle CBD. So CBD is this angle. How are we going to find it? Well, we're going to use parallel lines. So what do we know are parallel? Well, we know that this is going to be parallel to this. And this is parallel to this. And these, whoops, I wanted different colors to make, keep things straight. Let's see. And this is going to be parallel to this. All right, so if we look at angle CBD, which is right here, we see that if AC is parallel to FD and li line segment BD is our transversal. So you can see that we have a Z here. Um, be with these two angles, meaning they're alternate interior. So angle CBD, the measure of angle CBD is going to be equal to the measure of this angle, which is BDF, because they're alternate interior angles, meaning the me measure of angle CBD is 26 degrees. Okay, now it's your turn to do three check it outs. So again, look for parallel lines or look for angle measures and how they relate to each other. Good luck. All right, here's a practical example. In an A-frame support, the distance PQ, so this distance, is 46. Oops. What is the length of the support ST if ST, if S and T are midpoints? So we want to find out what the measure of this is. And we're going to use triangle mid-segment theorem to do that. All right, so ST is a mid-segment, so it's going to be half as big as, oops, it's going to be half as big as PQ, and that's what I have here. ST is one-half the length of PQ, 
which is going to be one half of 23, I mean one half of 46, which ends up being 23. Nice job. Thank you. And now it's your turn to use the mid-segment theorem, triangle mid-segment theorem, and see how many meters will she measure between H and F? And that is it. So in summary, our triangle mid-segment theorem says the mid-segment of the triangle is parallel to the side of the triangle, to a side of the triangle, and its length is half as half the length of that side that it's parallel to. A triangle has three mid-segments, and the mid-segment connects the midpoints of two sides and is parallel to the third side. All right, bring your questions in, and we'll see you next time.